Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be doing some dough. I'm going to take you through the process of making the dough, which takes a few days, and then straight up to making a pizza, and we'll see what the pizza comes out like. So step number one is quite simple actually. We've just got some 300 grams of Americana flour, and we've also got three grams of dry active yeast. This is a Caputo dry active yeast, and we've also got 300 ml of warm water, which I've just got out the tap. So that's step one. All I do then is give it a little stir and then add in a little bit of salt, probably about another three grams or something. And then just give it a stir. Cover it with cling film and put it in the fridge for 24 hours. That's it, simple. Just scrape off any extra bits you've got there. And then cover that with cling film Put it in the fridge, and then 24 hours, voila, here's one I made earlier. 24 hours later, as you can see, it's completely changed. We're having problems with the lighting, but as you can see, it's completely changed. It smells pretty amazing as well. You can actually smell the yeast. It smells like sweet buns or something, mm. don't you think? Uh, so yeah, so next part now that we're going to do is we're going to need some more water about another 300 mils. So we're going to need our 300 mils of water, which I've got there from the tap again. And then the next step is to add 450 grams of flour. Again, this is Americana, but you can mix it up and use some type 00 or something like that. Also going to add 200 grams of Samoa, another three grams of yeast, and finally the water. And then, is that warm water again? Yeah, that's good warm water from tap. And then this is all just going to get mixed up in our mixer. And then it's going to go back in the fridge for another 24 hours. Okay, so let's mix that up. Okay, so what you want to do is just put that in the dough bowl once it's all mixed up. And what I've done is I've oiled one side of the cling film so that when this rises in the fridge it won't stick to it. Now this will go back in the fridge for 24 hours and then we'll just do the last part which is making the dough balls ready to make pizza. Okay so the dough's out the fridge now and as you can see it's completely different from the last time we saw it. This dough has now been in the fridge for what I'd say is a total of three days. We've done the first part, we left it overnight, then we've done the second part, we left that overnight and this is the third day and the dough is basically almost ready as you can see it's nice and bubbly and risen so what's going to happen now is we're going to leave it for an hour or two it's quite warm today so it might only take about an hour and that's just to let the dough get up to room temperature and then we're going to boil it up rest it for another hour and then it'll be ready to use okay so the dough has been in as you said as i said earlier about three days uh, I showed you earlier, I was taking out the fridge and said we'd be boiling it up, so that's what I'm going to do now. But before doing that, I just wanted to show you something. This has got a little comparison just to show you. Now, obviously, we put the dough in, and this was the third day it was in the fridge. And as you can see here, it's quite bubbly, it's quite nice dough. It looks really nice. This one here is another one we did, and this is one that's just sort of, oh, it's a bit sticky, but this is one that's, uh, oh look, you can already see the structure stuck to the mm -hmm. cling film. That's my bad, maybe I forgot to oil it. But you can already see the structure, but you can sort of see the difference. This one here has been in the fridge for two days. This would actually be perfectly usable. It's been out the fridge now for a little while. So this one that would actually be perfectly usable and it tastes really nice, but it's just the longer you leave it, the more sort of fermented, fermented and flavour you get out of it. Like I say, that one there, if you were just wanted to do it over two days, it would work fine. It would taste really nice, so we might actually use some of that later. But this is the one we're going to be concentrating on, the 3D old one. So what we're going to do is we've got these little system of tubs and I put individual dough balls in these. Now, depending how big you want the pizza, 
you could use a 300 gram 280 to 300 gram dough ball that will get you about a 12 inch pizza depending how you want the crust or you can do a 320 gram dough ball which gives you a nice big 14 inch pizza that's normally the one I go for because I like a big pizza but you can do it everywhere you want look at that so we just put this into a dough ball and then I kind of measure it normally uh, I normally put it in here before I measure it 306 so we're just going to get that 320 for a nice big pizza and then uh, yep so just because I oiled the bottom of the pot it's got a little bit of oil on it so it's real easy though to work with this it's so soft so putting it into a dough ball is easy as anything really so just sort of get it as tight as you can and then uh, tuck it in, tuck it in the pot and then I normally just put a little lid on which I've put somewhere and I don't know where I've put them there they are right so I've normally oiled the top of the lid as well and just sort of press that on and then that will just sit and then I'll do the rest of them and then we'll make some pizza that I forgot to say probably just leave it about an hour and then it'll be ready to go and then lid will pop off when yeah. it's ready yeah the lid usually <laughs> does pop off when it's ready if it's really cold it might take out longer than an hour but today it'll probably take about an hour and then you can just it'll stretch itself it's so easy so yeah so that's how we do it join us for the next bit where we make pizza and now here we go okay so we've shown you how to make the dough over two days so next we're just going to make a pizza with the dough ball that we prepared earlier and to do that all we need to do really is just put the pizza in the Samoa and then uh, get that ready just flatten it down so it's nicely covered in Samoa make sure you've got the surface dusted as well and then you just want to push all the air from the middle into the crust and then that's obviously how you're going to get your shape try and keep it round but if you don't keep it round it doesn't really matter okay so once you've got the size you want what I'm going to make here is just a simple pizza this is going to be my son Travis's pizza so he just wants a little tomato and cheese pizza with some pepperoni so we'll do that it's quite simple there we go I've got some mozzarella in here which is frozen for the latte so we'll just spread that all around a bit more we've got some corn pepperoni here it's not real pepperoni but it's corn pepperoni but it's just as nice a wee bit of parmesan on the top sprinkled around all over the place and then we'll chuck that in the oven and it won't take long at all like I say when you're putting it on the peel as long as you've got that Samoa dusted on the bottom like I showed you earlier it goes on the peel real easy this is a nice uh, pizza to lift onto the peel and then you just turn it in the oven and that will cook in no time okay I think we're done so let me just move that out of the way oh, it smells really nice so there we go simple 48 hour dough a pizza made in about 60 seconds amazing crust really sort of nice crunchy crust it looks brilliant so yeah give that dough a go like subscribe we'll see you next time bye